Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. This is a compilation video of some camp builds. This is a submission for the School Zones Fallout 76 Camp Build Contest. Now, this first submission that I have, um, I lost a lot of my game footage on a drive that I had. Um, so I lost the tour for this particular build, but this is one of my f uh, favorite builds. Um, and again, my idea is, is this something that you would see? Is it is it real? Is it believable? Is this something that you think that you would see in the real world? Um, that's kind of the approach that I take with my bills. I'm going to be very immersive, follow all the laws of physics as best I can, um, and kind of with the storyline of what's going on in the game as well. Like, you know, what would you have? So this is like a mid-level build. I used it kind of this picture as a background for the introduction. I really wish I had a tour for that. Now, this is one of my early builds, kind of when the game first came out. Again, we're just coming out of the vault. Um, so we don't really have any, like, buildings that's built. We're all kind of temporary shelters, tents. Also, with this particular build, I was trying to um, really put everything out. Um that the game had to offer really i was trying to get all these plans as much as i could and unlocking all this stuff and to showcase it just kind of put it all out and just put a little bit of everything kind of really fill the area it's very cluttered um and again you know this is where we're starting out we've got our camps and we're just bringing all the junk that we fought bringing it to one spot and um you know decorating our area um and it was a really nice one. I like the green AstroTurf. That's where it is on the map. Now this is another build with Lost um, Tour video. But I did find uh, a clip in some other game files of this camp. Um, again, this was my Brotherhood of Steel Ford operating base. Um kind of thrown down, you know, in the cranberry bog. We're trying to hunt down scorched beasts. Um, and this is, again, something mobile, something that we can pack up, move it on down the road, and then take it apart. Uh, that whole idea of the mobile camp um, idea. So that's what the theme for this particular build is as well. And you can see. Now, this is... Well, some of my favorite builds. This is for the first part of the Wild Appalachia DLC based around the fraternity houses, drinking. Um, we've got our grill out back. We've got our Brahmin for our fresh Brahmin milk for our sugar bombs in the morning. Um, I use that basic windmill a lot for power. I think, it, you know, how are you going to get... You could get, I guess, ethanol, but... It, a lot harder to make that fuel than it would be when. So, of course, we fixed up an old fraternity house here. Uh, we got our parties going on outside. Um, again, inside with most of my structures, small, small structures. The smaller the structure, the smaller the room, the more it's going to look filled out. Except, of course, the bathroom because there's just not many bathroom items um, and I am saving some room in case I decided to add something later. Um, we have the office here, down, um, the fraternity office. Oh, I just walked by the kitchen. Again, the kitchen, one standard block. We have the living room. Then we go out here, we just, you know, shove the power armor station under there. Now on the second floor we have the master suite this is here for um, frat master head of the house and of course like any other dorm dorm style you're gonna have all these bunk beds and just everybody jammed in together um, but again the, the fuller it looks the smaller the rooms and up top here in the attic area is just where all the work the, the remainder of the workbenches and things that are set apart um, but basically an old fraternity house that uh, we kind of kind of cleaned up. 
bringing us reminiscent of our old youth. Now on to our fourth build, almost to the end. This here, uh, again, the second part of the Wild Appalachia DLC. Now uh, this is the Sheep Squatch. This is the hunting lodge uh, that's been cleaned up. It's kind of more of an elegant hunting lodge. Um, and again, designed around something that, you know, came out of my own livelihood. Um, I like this build because the outside doesn't give justice to the inside. It's, there's kind of an optical illusion to it because you come inside. We've got the bar right here. But then we have this very open area, very high open, um, which again, even you see here in West Virginia, this is the general architecture that you have. And I want to just kind of stay immersive, so I want to keep with the, the similar architecture you have. So we've got our bar slash, you know, where we serve food to the guests, very open area. Again, we have our plain Jane bathrooms back here in the employees only area. <clears throat> we come back here and this is where we cook up all those gourmet meals and everything that we serve to our guests where we also clean up um, a lot of our animals back here as well do a lot of skinning and stuff um, back here again we have an office and then through the office we have crew quarters um, you always have to have at least two people on staff at all time cooking emergency you know Whatever. You've, you've got staff. This is a, a hunting lodge. And upstairs, I'm going to go up there, and we have our rooms. And I couldn't get away from that screens on the stairs. And looks like we don't have enough power. We'll fix that later. Um, so I put a bunch of rugs down to kind of cover up that grating. There's really nothing that we can do about that. Um, other than put some carpets down, cover it up. Um... Couldn't really put any of the floors because the pieces I use. But, again, this open style is very reminiscent. As kids, me and my sister, we'd run around this, this top floor, just keep running around in a circle. Uh, keeps us occupied. So, up here we have four rooms. We got two, a bunk bed here. And we've got a bunk bed here for the kids or for multiple groups. And then we have, you know, the single beds rooms here. This will be their parent room and a parent room. Because again, this is kind of reminiscent of a family type experience, you know, go out hunting with your family. And that very open common area down in the middle. Um, and entertainment for all. Um, again, that outside optical illusion looks very, very not tall, and you go inside, it's kind of like so much more space. I really like that. And here, the most challenging build ever, the small city, the small town, the mini town. Um, this was very difficult to do. It took, um, it took a while. Um, unfortunately, budget, budget, budget restricts how we could do this. Originally, my houses were about 40% larger, larger, but no decoration. Um... So even with removing 40%, the only decoration I was going to be able to do is pretty much the porches. And on this side here, we have the houses, which are kind of themed after my family. That would be my sister's house. In the middle would be kind of my father's workshop. And down here would be where my parents would live and how my mom's house is with all the plants all over the porch and all over the place. So, again, modeled after um, my own family. And then on this we got the general store in the middle, and on the end here is the Pioneer Scouts recruiting office. But something doesn't seem right. Something is missing. Let's come over here. Not the right spots. Let's try this again. Ah, something is missing. All right. All right, that's all taken care of now. Okay, so back to... Again, this is the last part of the DLC, Pioneer Scouts. Um, not much, really, to put out for Project Paradise, uh, really. We didn't get the um, anything else, but we got the same power in the back, a dumpster. Over here, this would be, you know, a normal garage that you'd kind of see next to a general store, come in, get anything repaired. And a general store here in the center, which is, again, where I focused a lot of... 
where the decorating would go in that part of the budget. You see you come in, we've got, uh, I wish I could have a cash register on the counter, that would be nice, but um, this spot here is going to be saved for display cases when we get them. And up top, as usual, we have a small apartment up here as well. We got a small little office here. In the back we have our bedroom, a small little uh, kitchenette off here to the side, and once again, a bathroom that I started actually seeing if I could decorate them a little bit more. Um, again, the toilet's hidden behind the door, which is great, so if someone comes in and opens the door, you can't see. So these are my five builds. I hope you enjoyed. Maybe, again, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, not much else to say. This one, I really like this one. I like the small town. I think it's going to be not something I take apart anytime soon. Um, a lot of people like it. But again, my next set of builds are all going to be based upon the next set of DLC. I have... We have, um, we can make up to five different characters, so hopefully I've got a couple more characters and I can make something for a while.